Okay, I'm going to show you how to log into the site and create blog posts. So first off, you're going to want to come to supermanherbs.com slash wp-admin. This stands for WordPress Administrator. So you log into the thing. Just remember this, and you know it should save it into your thing. So once you click on that, you'll come to this login panel. The username is admin, A-D-M-I-N, and the password is F-G-H-J-1234. Um, I figured we can all just use the admin to go into it, but if we need to, we'll create different users. So you log in with that, F-G-H-J-1234, and you come into the dashboard. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so this is the dashboard. This is where you do everything, the main page. You're not going to have to worry about most of this stuff here at all. In fact, please don't mess with it. <laughs> uh, so the thing in order to do posts is to come to this section here, which is post. And you'll click the add new button. So this is the main page you're going to deal with here. Um, I found an example of an article here uh, on PubMed. So what I'm going to do is take the abstract here and put it in here. And I'm going to do it under this, which is the block quote. Um, usually when I'm editing, I'll do it in the HTML section uh, just because it's easier. Um, so up here you want a title. Make sure I spell that right. Um, I'll tell you the basics of SEO. So if someone searched like pine pollen and arthritis, let's actually just see what comes up. Oh, it looks like actually this study that I'm pulling from is the specific one. But let's say someone was looking for information. If we had this specific title, then it's likely to come up. So you want the keywords in the title. Of course, what we're doing here it doesn't always matter. It just depends on what you're going for. So here on this other page, I've already written something for this. Just a sort intro. Once again, you'll see it has basically the same keywords as what I'm targeting here. Um, then some more down here. I was also going to bold some of this. Let's see. I'm basically bolding the benefits of the pine pollen, what they found. I mean, this last sentence kind of shows it all up. I'm going to add Pretty sure it was done with rats. You know, most testing is done. But I guess I shouldn't say that specifically found now. So um, that's just an example of here. Let's say we want to add a picture. Uh, let's do it after this. Um, I already have uploaded a number of the pictures in here. So you click on this little box here. That's the picture by the upload and insert. You can select files from your computer from a URL. Uh, just know that you can't steal them from other people. You gotta have permission. So we'll just go with the standard pine pollen powder. Uh, no link, no caption. We'll just put a pretty small picture in the center. Uh, it's good to have pictures with posts as much as you can. Um, so and with this, we'll also want to link over to our pine pollen page. 
So we have that, open another window, copy, and we are going to link pine pollen there. So now that becomes a clickable link. Um, we don't have any categories here. I'll add pine pollen. Since we'll probably do a lot. We should do one for studies. And those are both the categories. You also have the post tags, which is kind of like categories, except different. And pollen study. So basically in the tags you put down all the subjects, it is about um, and they're comma separated. These can all be changed later, but that should be a good enough. Let's go with pine and pollen as well. This is the basic term. So we got some tags, we got some things. All this other stuff you don't have to deal with. So don't change anything. Here before we publish it, I'm uh, going to click the preview button. Uh, which opened it up in this other page. So here we have the whole thing. You'll see it's in the block quote which gives it the italics and spaces it. Uh, all the bolding. There's the picture and it's got the link there. You can see the tags and categories it is in right there. So that is an example of how to do a post. If you are doing taking a video from YouTube, I'll just show this as a quick example here. If we wanted to take this one, of course it's selling their own product, so that would not be a good one to use, but we'll just use it as an example. You'd click the share button, click embed, copy all that. We're gonna go wanna go with this small one here, because otherwise it will be too big for the blog. And then make sure you're in the HTML, not the visual. And you'd go like this. Let's click preview again. So now the video's in there. So that's how you do video. But that doesn't belong here, so we are just going to publish. So when people come to blog, they will now see this article here. And I'm going to delete the old one. So that's how you put up a blog post.